We have had a very constructive uh, meeting with the Taoiseach. We have uh, reflected our absolute determination that government must be restored here in the north. That's where, what the public expect. Politics to, move, to work, actually find agreed solutions, and I think this is not beyond the realms of possibility. This can be done, but it must be done at pace because we're eight months post our election and we're all being held to ransom. The public are being held to ransom in the middle of the cost of living crisis, in the middle of the health service crisis. Our nurses crying out for support and fair pay and safe working conditions, and we're being robbed of the, of the opportunity to do our best for those people. I don't think that's tolerable in the public's mind, so I think all players need to get on with it, get down to brass tacks, do the business, and let us get back around the table. I am stating to be clear our will and determination that things can happen quickly and that things should happen quickly. Uh, for the life of us, we can't imagine eight months out from an election, uh, eight months of a stalemate and limbo. There can be no further excuses offered for more and more delay. That, frankly, is not good enough. It's not good enough for the people who elect us as Sinn Féin representatives or, or I would say, for, for people uh, more generally, irrespective of who they vote for. I believe that there is a common sense from the common sense people beyond politics that they need an executive and an assembly representing them, leading and addressing, as Michelle has said, the huge issues, the huge issues in our health service, in our economy and creating uh, opportunity and prosperity, particularly for our young people. That's where the action is at. So the time of prevarication and excuses and distractions and petulance needs to end. And we want serious business done and we want delivery for people. Look, we're not interested in dinner. What we're interested in is political solutions to make the protocol work. What we're interested in is being in Stormont and the executive working with all the other parties to make politics work. What we're interested in is actually trying to put money into people's pockets to get them through the cost of living crisis. So I'm not interested in this debate. Today is a new day. Let's focus on the job at hand. And the job at hand is the restoration of the Assembly and the Executive. The job at hand is the protocol being made to work and a deal to be struck between the British Government and the EU. So we shouldn't be distracted by all this other noise. We're here because we're here to do serious business. The Taoiseach is here because he's here to do serious business. We want to work with everybody. We remain willing to work with everybody. But let's get down to brass tacks. Let's get politics and let's make it work. The way that we make progress is together. That's how this works. That's, that's what the history of the last 25 years uh, reflects. So any idea of excluding anybody, excluding the leader of any party, needs to be scotched and knocked on the head now. These are serious matters. People are relying on leaders to lead, not to get involved in petulant, divisive and petty politics. Because you see at the end of the day, away from the political drama driven by uh, the British government, regular people in their regular lives need decision making and government and they need it now. There can't be any further prevarication, stalemate or delay.